Hello, YouTube. Um, I'm just here sitting outside getting a little bit of vitamin D and getting ready to do my exercises, which is 40 minutes of jogging. And I wanted to talk about uh, the misconceptions, or at least one of the misconceptions, about uh, B12 deficiency. Um, I imagine I have been B12 deficient for quite some time, as it takes quite a bit of time to become severely deficient, which I, I am, from a vegetarian diet and not supplementing and um, just a very, very long-term vegetarian diet. Um, you know, most people can do vegetarian diets probably without much problem, but, you know, they have to supplement, which is not natural. And, um, you know, any diet that requires you to supplement is not, not a healthy diet. And it goes beyond B12. It goes into other vital nutrients that you can't supplement. That's, I mean, and in other words, there's no substitute for a healthy, balanced diet. You can't just take a vitamin pill. You know, it's more than that. And, um, well, what I want to talk about is one of the misconceptions why I didn't catch it is because I often assumed, like probably most people assume, that if you're B12 deficient, you have lack of energy. Well, I've never had a lack of energy it did pretty much just the opposite. It suppressed, lack of B12 suppressed my melatonin and it caused me to have um, severe sleep deprivation and um, hard time sleeping. Um, so, um, in psychological problems, um, a lot of people don't know this. So what I do now is I can't really take B12 in the daytime because it makes me really tired. Like again, um, it um, not only does it does a lack of B12 suppress melatonin, but taking it will release the melatonin. So what I do is I take uh, hypotensive sublingual, a methyl cobalum um, B12 tablet under my tongue about an hour before I go to bed, and I sleep all night. I don't wake up. I don't have any problems sleeping now. And um, another thing, um, what was I going to say? Besides um, that is um, another thing I like to do is I like to eat uh, a nice uh, locally uh, grass-fed uh, free-range um, beef. I like to eat about, um, I'd say, what is it? three ounces like you take a deck of cards and you cut that in half I, I guess that's like three ounces I eat about that much of grass-fed free-range beef and that keeps me from getting really cold because w before when I was vegetarian um, a lot of times I would wake up in the middle of the night freezing to death and I would have to have an electric blanket or just wear tons of clothes um, you know plus tons of blankets and I'd still be cold and what this does is um, it helps me sleep warmly. Um, I've slept warm probably in the, the first time in, in as far back as I can remember. And I, so I love doing that now. I love to eat a little bit of free range beef before I go to sleep. I know you're not supposed to sleep in bed, but it helps me now until I get my B12 levels back up where they belong, which should be right around between 700 micrograms to maybe a thousand micrograms. We're all born with about 2,000 micrograms, and of course, as we age, we deplete. But I'm really low right now. I'm only about 240 or so, and I was at like 230. So um, I'm hoping to do this naturally. I don't want to, well, not that naturally because I still have to take sublingual tablets. But I, I want to wait, um, hold off on the injections for three months. Um, and then after three months, if I'm still low, below 400, say I'll probably get the injections, but I really would wait, rather wait. Um, too low, a B12 is, of course, unhealthy, and you can get um, cancer and um, other problems, uh, anemia, you can die. And, of course, too high, you can get a B12, you can also get cancer. Um, so you want to pretty much be natural, I think, um, get it through your food naturally. So that's it. Um, anyone else have any B12 deficiencies through diet? I don't really care. 
you know, if you're B12 deficient and, and you, uh, you know, do other things that are unhealthy. I've always lived a very healthy, well, try to live a very healthy lifestyle, thinking I was doing what was right when I maybe I was not because of my vegetarian diet. Um, I just want to hear from people that have, you know, had the same problems with the vegetarian diet. I don't really care, you know, if you live like, again, an unhealthy lifestyle. I want to only hear from people who've lived a healthy lifestyle and the only problem was their vegetarian diet where they weren't getting enough nutrients in their vegetables and whatever. Okay. So that's it. Take care.